solving equations with an unknown variable. Very often in algebra, you are required to solve equations that has an unknown variable. For example, so you have 4x minus 8 equals to 12. So this is an equation. You have the left hand side and the right hand side and you have an unknown variable x. Okay, and you're supposed to solve for x, which means you're supposed to make x equals to something. Okay, so let's uh, demonstrate how to do that. So we first, what we can do is we have to make 4x the subject. Okay, so we just leave 4x as at the left hand side. To do that, we we'll bring over the minus 8 to the right hand side. Okay, to do that, Okay. When we, whenever we bring a my a negative figure to across, okay, we have to invert the sign, which becomes so four x, and bring the negative eight over, which will give us twelve, and becomes a plus eight. So the negative eight when it comes over becomes a plus eight. Okay, and we know that four x equals to twelve plus eight, which is twenty. Okay, so now we have four x equals to twenty. To get rid of the 4 over here, we can divide both sides by 4, which is we divide both sides by 4, and this will leave us with x, and 20 divided by 4 will give us 5, and hence x equals to 5. So we have solved the equation for x, which is x equals to 5. Another example of solving an equation with an unknown variable, say we have 6, and bracket y plus 9 equals to 27. Okay, again to solve this, it will be mean x will be a uh, y will be equal to something. Okay, so to solve this, first we have to take away the brackets. Okay, to take away the brackets, it means that we actually multiply 6 and the terms inside. Okay. So to open the bracket and multiply the terms inside, we first have to multiply 6 with the first term. And 6 times y will give us 6y. Secondly, we have to multiply 6 with the second term to give us 6 times 9. Okay, so 6 times 9 will give us 54. And the right hand side will be left the same, 27. Hence, we now have this equation. And if we bring 54 over, it be 6y equals to 27 minus 54. Okay, and this will be 27 minus 54 will be minus 27. Okay, and to take away the 6 here, we just divide both sides by 6. Okay, so it means that if we divide both sides by 6, we have finally y equals to negative 27 over 6. Okay, we can further reduce this okay, by simplifying the fraction with uh, by dividing the common term of 3. If we divide by 6 by 3, you get 2. If we divide 27 by 3, we get 9. So in the end, y is equals to, okay, let me just have some space here. So in the end, y will be negative 9 over 2. Okay, another example. So this time around, we have a fraction, okay? Half x plus 8 equals to 10. Okay, we can solve it just as before. So do not worry. We'll just bring the 8 over. So this becomes half x equals to 10 minus 8. So the first thing to solve unknown variables is to make the variable the subject, okay, which is just without any um, additional terms. We bring whatever constants over, okay. We just make it the subject. And in this case, it would be easier if we were to make a takeaway half, okay. To do that, we will multiply both the left hand side and the right hand side with two. So if we multiply two times half x, okay, ten minus eight is two. And we have to multiply the right hand side also. So it's 2 times 2. So this will just becomes x equals to 4. Another example, say we have 5x minus 9 equals to minus 8x plus 
17. Okay, so to solve for x, we should put all the x's, try to put all the x's together and all the constants together, which means we bring negative 8x over to the left hand side to give us 5x plus 8x. Remember that the negative sign will become a positive sign and we bring negative 9 over. So it will be 17 plus 9. Okay, and if you add them up, it will be 13x and it equals to 26. Okay, and now we can divide both sides by 13. We will, it will give us x equals to 26. Divide by 13 equals to 2. Another example, say we have 8 and 3x minus 7 equals to 2 times 6x minus 4. Okay, to solve for x, we would have to open up the brackets first. So 8 times 3x will give us 24x. And 8 times minus 7 will give us minus 56. Okay. And opening the brackets on the right hand side, 2 times 6x will give us 12x. 2 times minus 4, minus 8. Okay. And we'll bring all the x's over and all the constants over. So 24x, bring positive 12x over, we become negative 12x. And it goes to bringing 56, negative 56 over, we give us positive 56. And with the minus 8 term remaining. And this will give us 24x minus 12x, will give us 12x. And 56 minus 8 will give us 48. Dividing both sides by 12, we get x equals to 48 divided by 12 which will give us 4. Okay, another example. Say we have 13x plus 147 equals to negative 73. Okay, again to make x a subject, we we'll bring the positive 147 over to give us 13x equals to negative 73 and negative 147. 47. Okay, so this will be negative 220. Okay, and to solve for x, divide both sides by 13. So x equals to negative 220 divided by 13. Okay, so using a calculator. Okay, so 220 divided by 13 give us 16.92 we will just keep it to two decimal places so in this case it's 16 point or rather negative 16.92 since we had a negative over here another example so say we have negative 2x minus 4 and close bracket equals to negative 24 okay so we need to open up the brackets first. To do that, we have to multiply negative with 2x, which will give us negative 2x. And negative with negative 4, which will give us positive 4. It goes to negative 24. And to make x the subject, okay, we can we we'll try to make um negative 2x into a positive 2x since it's easier to have a positive unknown variable. So bring over the negative 2x, we become 2x, okay, and keeping the term 4 remaining, instead bring negative 24 over, which will give us positive 24. Okay, so 24 plus 4, which will give us 28, because 2x, okay, which is uh, the same as 2x equals to 28. So if we divide both sides by 2, what we'll get is x will be equals to 14. Okay, another example, say we have um, minus 2 and 3x minus 12 equals to 10 minus x. Okay, again we need to multiply, open up the bracket, so multiplying negative 2 with 3x will give us negative 6x, 
multiply negative 2 with negative 12 will give us a positive 24 it goes to 10 minus x okay if we bring the negative 6x over it will become um, minus x and plus a 6x okay and if we bring the negative 10 over to the left hand side it will just become a negative 10 okay plus 24 and 24 minus 10 plus 24 will give us 14 and this the right hand side will just give us 5x okay and we can solve for x will be equal to 14 over 5 